This is the Varark HW99S. It's Varark's entry-level rifle. But is it any good? Hello there, welcome to the Airgun Gear Show. One of the major questions that I get asked a lot is, how do I get into air gunning? What should I buy? I don't have a massive budget. I want to get a Springer, which is the best one? Well, it's quite simple and I've got a very simple answer for you. This is my recommendation. It is the Varark HW99S. This is Varark's entry-level rifle, the 99S. Now, there is a slightly smaller kind of version of this, which I think is the 30, and that's more junior-based. But this is their entry-level rifle for adults and bigger-sized people like me. And what's so gorgeous about it is well, to be honest, the price. I paid around 220 odd quid for this one a few months ago now, and they're floating around for around 200 to 250 pounds, depending on where you go. And I have to say, 200 quid for a Varark air rifle, that's a bargain. But it does obviously generate the question, is it any good? Well, the simple answer to that is yes, it's fabulous. Varark has a huge heritage and pedigree. They've been making air guns for years, way longer than I've been around. In fact, some of your grandparents may have been shooting early Varark Springers many years ago. So they do have that heritage and that pedigree, and they are incredibly well respected in the air gun world, which is kind of what makes them so popular. So looking at this and knowing that price, what are you getting for that money? I'm just going to interrupt your fun and say if you're enjoying the video give it a thumbs up you could also subscribe there's a button down there and press a little bell next to it and when youtube deems itself worthy it will let you know when we've put out the latest videos if you want to know where you can get all your pellets and your accessories and your bits and pieces take a look at my shop it's airgun101shop.co.uk there's also airgun101.com which is the best place in the world to get the latest air gun videos a lot of the time before they even make it onto YouTube. That's it, carry on. So what have we got? First of all, the rifle starts out, it's 104 centimeters long, 40 centimeters of that is barrel and approximately 30 centimeters is the action. Starting at that end, you've got a rubberized shoulder pad. Then you've got this cheek piece here, ambidextrous. The whole gun is ambidextrous. And that's good because it means that you haven't got to worry if you're a lefty or a righty, it's ambidextrous. This isn't anything special here, but it works. Stippling on the pistol grip. Some nice stippling on the forend and it clearly says Varark. They'd like you to know where it's come from. The action on the top inside, it's all given by spring piston. And again, it's incredibly reliable and just repeats itself over and over again. In-house Varark barrel on the top, You've got adjustable sights for windage and elevation using this little dial system here, and you've got the open sight at the front. Trigger is the record or record one, however you want to say it, and it's adjustable by this little screw at the back, and you can match it to whatever pull weight you want. And again, it's incredibly reliable and works very, very well. And that is the whole package. That's all you need. You need that and a tin of pellets, and you're shooting. You don't need even though I do put a scope on it, you don't need to put a scope on it. You don't need to do anything clever with it. You don't need to tune it. You don't need to, you just get that and you're shooting. Power wise, that spring piston system in there is very, very consistent. And that is very important. It's running at around 10.8 to 11.1 foot pounds, around 560 feet per second with a 15.89 JSB pellet. This is 2.2 by the way. And with that consistency, it means that you always know really where the pellet's going to go. One of the reasons why I like the rifle so much is that yes, you can get springers that are cheaper, 
But if any of you have ever shot cheaper Springers, they're great, they're fantastic, they're brilliant. But if you ever shoot and you think, why did that go over there? Or why did that go over there? Because I didn't. Missed! It's probably because of the rifle. That doesn't do that because it's got that super reliable Virarc spring piston system inside it. Let's do accuracy. This is open sights at 15 yards. I am shooting off a rest. I know that's because I wobble about when I stand and shoot. 15 yards open sights. I've got five under one and a half centimeters or a 5p coin. And I tell you the pellets I'm using are the FX air guns, 15.89, 16 grain ones. I've done all the pellet testing for you. The JSB 15.89s or FX ones, they just work. But there you go, I got five under one and a half centimeters there. That's lovely. Bit of a wider group in others, but there we go. Then what I did is I decided, okay, that's brilliant. Open sight's fantastic. Let's put a scope on it. So I did, and at 15 yards using a scope, the groups start to tighten up, as you can see. So there's your there's your comparison there, look, see? Okay, so that's open, that's scoped, all right? And then I decided that what I was gonna do was go out to 25 yards with the scope, and then you've got groups like that at 25 yards with a springer. And again, they're about 1.7 centimeters across there Same hole. on that group. And again, for 25 yards, I'm very happy. So is the gun accurate? Yeah, of course it's accurate. I can plink targets at 50 yards with this, quite easily. Oh, yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's accurate. Now I did put an Element Optics Helix scope on top. I will admit the scope costs more than the gun. So when you come to put a scope on top of there, make sure you put a quality scope on. I'm not saying that's the right one, but just make sure that whatever you pick is going to do the job for you and use a good set of mounts as well. Because honestly, when you put a scope on top of there, the rifle, it just goes to a whole new level of what you can do with it. <laughs> proper stance, Joel, proper stance. Got them all down. Did I mention it shoots slugs? These are 22 grain FX hybrids. Look, in it goes. No problem. Sits in there quite happily. There's a little ball out there. Look. <laughs> now I'll grant you, it's only doing about, I don't know, three and a half, four foot pounds out the end of the barrel, but it shoots slugs. Hybrid slug, I've got to try this, 2-2 two, two grain. Okay, sub 12 foot pound spring air gun. There's an egg there, I've got to try it. <laughs> Yucky eggy mess. Two tins, 30 yards, open sights. Let's see how we do. There's one. Two for two! Look at that, there were no retakes or anything in that. That was two for two. I've been hammering this rifle for weeks now. And listen, right, I haven't tightened anything up or done anything. There's no rattles, nothing's loose, nothing shakes. It really is a sturdy bit of kit. The build quality on this really is fantastic. Something to note is that when you do cock the rifle, which is very easy to do, look, just like that, okay? When you do cock the rifle and you pull that down, the auto safety does engage. And it's very, very easy to cock down to that click point there. And then you pop the pellet in the top. Always making sure you keep hold of that barrel for your own safety. Something to note is when you do pop the pellet in every time, you will see that gorgeous breech and the way it's finished by Virarc just there. Really, you are gonna struggle to find a better finished breech on most other spring air rifles that are out there in the market. 
but there you go. You put your pallet in, you pop it back up, you take it off auto safety there, and you're ready to shoot. And it's that simple to use over and over again. So to answer the initial question, in my opinion, what is the best 2-2 spring air gun to get started into the world of air gun shooting? It's this one, it's the Viarc HW99S. It's Viarc's entry point rifle, it's the right price point, and you know that you're gonna get something that's gonna last you probably a lifetime. In fact, you're gonna pass this down to generations in years to come. It's accurate, does what it needs to do, it's just a fantastic bit of kit. And there you go, that's the rifle. Go for that one. Thanks for watching, bye-bye. Thank you.